Hey what's going on YouTube, welcome back to a new video. So Samsung has just released the One UI 2.5 update for the Galaxy M51. Now this update is awesome because it brings one of the most requested features on the Galaxy M51, that is secure folder. And if I drop down the notification panel, you can see secure folder is right over here. And this is the M51. So what I'm going to do in this video is demonstrate secure folder to you and then I'm going to show you one or two new features that the One UI 2.5 update brings to the Galaxy M51. Anyways, if we go to the software version, you can see the One UI core version is now 2.5. Also, before we begin, I want to say that if you enjoy watching my content, make sure to subscribe, then hit the bell icon and select all to get notifications for my latest uploads and make sure to follow me on my social media accounts. I will put all the links in the video description. All right, so let's begin. So all of us have some of the other stuff on our phone that we want to keep a secret from prying eyes. It might be your banking application, private photos, secret conversations, or even some contacts that you want to keep separate from public view. So for that, we have a feature called secure folder. If you drop down the notification panel, secure folder is right over here. So first off, you will need to set the secure folder up. I'm not going to show you the entire process. So let me just set this up and I'll be right back. So this is our secure folder. This is the screen that you are going to see after you finish off with the initial setup. And every time you launch the secure folder, which you can do by opening up the app drawer and tapping on secure folder, you can use your pin or your fingerprints this is the screen that you are going to see. Now to put secure folder in very simple words, secure folder is like a phone inside of a phone, but it is password protected. Phone inside of a phone because secure folder has its own set of applications, its very own Play Store. You can open up the Play Store from over here, which you will need to sign in. By the way, on the secure folder Play Store, you can sign in with a separate account that is different from the account that you are already signed in on the main phone. So the thing is, all of the applications inside the secure folder, including the Play Store, is completely separate from the main phone. And everything that you store inside the contacts, calendar, gallery, and even the photos that you are going to click using the camera, which is inside the secure folder, will stay inside the secure folder, and those photos will not be visible in the main phone. Let me give you a quick demonstration. So I'm going to launch the camera, and I'm going to click this photo. So as you can see, we have taken a photo and this photo will be visible inside the secure folder gallery. Here it is. But this photo will not be visible inside the main phone's gallery. So if I open up this gallery, that photo is not over here. So that's the thing. Everything inside the secure folder is completely separate from the main phone. The contacts, calendar, notes, everything is completely separate. Now to install more applications inside the secure folder, you will need to tap on add apps button. And from over here, you can pick an application that is already installed on your main phone. So the phone will create a new copy. For example, I can tap on WhatsApp and press the add button and a new fresh copy of WhatsApp will be copied over to the secure folder. Again, this is completely separate from the main phone. So the thing is you can either copy applications that are already installed on the phone or you can download them from the Play Store or the Galaxy Store. Keep in mind, you will need to sign in with a Google account. You can sign in with a Google account that you are already signed in on the phone or you can pick a new Google account. So this is why I said this is like a phone inside of a phone. You can also easily move stuff in and out of secure folder. If you want to add stuff to the secure folder, you can tap on add files. You can add images by pressing this button or add videos, audio, documents, or you can open up the file explorer and add individual files from over here. Another way of doing this is by opening up the application. For example, I will open up the gallery and for example, let's copy this video clip and this photo to the secure folder. Then after selecting, I'll press on these three dots and then select move to secure folder. And once these files have been moved, they will disappear from the main gallery. As you can see, they have disappeared and those files will be inside the secure folder gallery. They are over here. And also you can move these files back out again. I'll move these files and also including this photo that we shot earlier. Tap on these three dots and select move out of secure folder. Once again, they will disappear from over here and they will be visible in the main gallery. So let's open up the main gallery. 
appear as the photo that we shot in the secure folder now it is visible in the main gallery so that's how easy it is to move stuff in and out of secure folder and the exact same thing can be done for samsung notes select tap on these three dots and select move to secure folder so that's how easy it is to move stuff in and out of the secure folder so this is the note that we just moved and once you are done press on these three dots and then select lock and exit now the secure folder is locked oh and you can also change the icon and the name of the secure folder to make it look less obvious so let's open up secure folder i'll tap on these three dots and then i will select customize so from over here i can pick a different icon and give the secure folder a different name let's name this weather so now secure folder icon kind of looks like the weather app here it is and if you tap it will open up the secure folder so that's how you can disguise secure folder as something else and if you want to completely hide this icon pinch in on the home screen go to home screen settings scroll down tap on hide apps and from over here hide the secure folder icon which is the weather app once you press on done that icon will no longer be visible in the main phone's app drawer amazing feature right guys so let us go back inside the secure folder and let me show you a new feature that Samsung is calling the Alt Z Life. Tap on these three dots and go to settings, then tap on quick switch. So this is a feature which lets you instantly switch between the normal mode and the secure folder view of any application. And you can do this by double pressing the power button. Let me show you. So tap on the side key setting. By default, if you double tap the power button, it launches the camera. But if you switch this to quick switch to secure folder, now if you double tap the power button, it will change the application view from normal to secure folder view or from secure folder back to normal view. Let me show you. And do keep in mind the secure folder is not yet locked. So I will go to the gallery and I will double press the power button. And that changes the view from the normal mode to the secure folder view. So this is the secure folder gallery. Again, if I double tap, it will go back to the normal view and you can do this for pretty much every application that is installed in the secure folder for example we have also installed whatsapp so double tapping the power button will take us to the whatsapp that is installed in the secure folder and same goes for the camera double tap it will switch to the camera which is installed in the secure folder so that's how you can quickly switch between the normal mode to the secure folder view and from the secure folder view back to the normal view and if the secure folder is locked, the phone will ask you for the pin. Double tap, the phone asks for the pin and use your fingerprint and bam. And that's how easily you can switch between the normal view and the secure folder view. And finally, if we go back inside the secure folder, you will see content suggestion. So this feature uses AI and it will scan your gallery for private content and the phone will automatically suggest you to add that content to the secure folder gallery. And by the way, all the processing happens on the phone. None of your images or the videos are being processed outside the phone. So this is how content suggestion works in the secure folder. All right, so I guess that is pretty much all there is to it for secure folder. Now coming to other features that are new, I've noticed that now you can use the Samsung keyboard in the split view in the landscape mode. So let's change the view to landscape. So this is now something that is new. This split keyboard wasn't possible before. By the way, to change the layout, press on these three dots and then select mode and then select split keyboard. So this is something that is new. Let's go back. Also, now you can use Bitmoji on your always on display. So we will go to lock screen make sure that the always on display is turned on then i'm going to select clock style always on display and select the clock style which allows you to add animated images and photos on your always on display and then select bitmoji now if you use snapchat then you know what bitmoji is i'm not going to go into too much detail but you can easily add a bitmoji to your always on display and and customize your phone even further so there you go now we have a bitmoji on the always on display so i guess that wraps it up for this video again i'm not gonna go into too much detail i want to keep this video below 15 minutes so i guess that's it thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the content make sure that you subscribe and press the like button
It helps me to beat the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching and do stay tuned for more videos on the Galaxy M51.